Not all of our patients are able to nominate the people who care for them. Not all of our patients um, make it, right? And um, Michelle is kind of a nurse's nurse. She is caring, kind, compassionate, pretty determined. And many of our patients need that determination, <laughs> and uh, and they appreciate that. But this nomination was by one of your peers, and uh, a couple of your peers. But one of them was Dr. Clark, who who witnessed your interaction with a specific patient, a patient who wouldn't be able to fill out this nomination for a recognition. So he stood in for that patient and uh, nominated you. So Dr. Clark, you want to tell this group a little bit about Michelle's? interaction not only with that specific patient but other interactions. Sure. Uh, I was almost hesitant because we have so many good nurses in this facility to, to try and single one out but this was um, probably about three months ago now when we it was, it was our second or third COVID patient in the ICU and so we, we were all new to it I think only QTLs and a few charge nurses, you know, only a few of our nurses even had N95 masks at this time. So, so we, we were pretty concerned about what is this virus, what does it do? And we had a, had a patient in the ICU who was on more oxygen than I've ever seen not being on a ventilator. She had the high flow nasal cannula and the high flow face mask and really struggling. So we're all mostly on the outside, you know, watching this patient in this room really struggling to breathe. And one day I, I walked by and I saw Michelle in the room with her arm around the patient, just sitting there talking with her. She had all of her PPE on. She was protecting herself, but she was she was spending time because one of the hardest things with this COVID disease is the patient's family can't be in there. So this patient wanted to sit at the bedside. And Michelle was sitting there giving her a hug. The next day was even more impressive. Um, this lady had a really thick head of hair. Michelle didn't like the combs that we had here. She wasn't able to wasn't able to fix her hair the way she wanted to. <laughs> so she had, I think it was a bit of winter programs and got a got a good brush. And then Michelle was actually kneeling up on the bed because the patient couldn't lay back in bed. So she was kneeling on the bed so she could get up to fix this patient's hair and do something that her family couldn't do. And then you know, Michelle was only one of the to in the room, but she wasn't just in there to adjust her oxygen or to give her IVs or to, to do that stuff. She was she was actually taking care of her personal needs. The other thing that I thought was impressive about this patient is Michelle would try and learn Spanish and get certain phrases and put them on sticky notes outside the door so people would know what things to say to this patient to try and try and help understand her and help 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 her communicate with us. And to me, you know, I kind of shared this story with my wife and told her in word that came my wife's my wife mind was here. You know, here here we have a disease that the whole country, the whole world is afraid of. Michelle was in there with her PPE arm, caring for this patient, and taking care of her. And I just felt that that was worthy of a nomination and I'm glad that the committee agreed with it. It's very impressive to me. So, well, here everything and fearless uh, shoot to all of us so we just absolutely appreciate you for all of your efforts and it's been kind of fun to watch these this family kind of grow up you know because they they're such the heart and soul of what we want to do here at madison creating madison moments um every shift they work